Okay, so I'm going to do a live here real quick on how I do my UV pens. These are UV start to finish. And yesterday I did a bulk batch of them. And I got 10 done in under two hours. They turn out very nice. Not a lot of bulk. There's very minimal sanding. Um, most of these I didn't sand at all. Um, so it's just, they're shiny, they're smooth. So it's just really handy. Um, the process is pretty simple. What we're going to start off with is a pen, just the casing. I've already removed the tab, the clip, and I've already taken my regular razor blade and removed whatever chunk or edge was there. The next thing I'm going to do is use my Krylon Triple Thick Glaze and I'm going to spray my pen casing with the Triple Thick Glaze because I prefer to paint all of or base coat all of my pens white. Um, sometimes with the paint I've learned it gets a little splotchy so it requires two coats that just adds to the bulk of the pen. Um, if you have to do multiple coats, like three or four, just to hide the black and get a nice white base. So I use Krylon, um, and I just simply go over the pen real quick. The stuff dries uber fast, so I spray it, and I'm going to sit it up here and just let it dry. The next thing I, here's another one that I sprayed earlier. The next thing I do then is I take my Krylon Fusion white matte all-in-one paint and primer. I prefer matte because it dries quicker than gloss. And I go over my glazed pen. And I have a nice white base coat. You don't want it on so thick that it'll drip. And I'm gonna set this aside and let it dry. So here's another one that I painted earlier as well so that I could just kind of breeze through the um, tutorial here. So here's my white pen. And from here, it's a pretty simple system. Um, what I utilize in these next steps are a 405 NM Dulex brand black light, UV light. I got this on Amazon. I will post the link to where I got it. However, the last time I checked, these pens or these lights were out of stock and not available. Um, I would, I prefer this one because it is rechargeable. It comes with a rechargeable battery. I don't have to go out and keep buying any double A's or triple A's. I just stick this bad boy in the charger and I'm good to go. What um, resin I use with this is I use Decorum UV resin. This is transparent, quick curing, and toxic free. I've used about four different brands of UV and some of them smell really bad. This one, it has a small, a light smell, but it's nothing compared to some of the other UVs that I've used. So this is my favorite. Um, I prefer it so much. I've got four of these 500 gram um, jugs sitting around. I use this for everything. My UV molds, my UV jewelry, um, applying my knuckles, to my cups, um, you know, this, I use decorum. I'll post the link to this as well. I get it on Amazon. Um, we'll pick our glitter color. Let's do, I've got to make a tie dye pen. So let's just start with white. Okay, so I've got, this one's called Stardust, and all I'm going to do is I'm going to take a little bit of my UV resin, I was using this cup earlier, I wipe it off in, be every, in between every, every coat just to make sure there's no glitter contamination, 
use the bottom of a measuring cup and I just put a dab on there. It doesn't require a lot. The more UV you use, the more bulk you're gonna have on your pen, the more sanding you're gonna do, which removes the efficiency of this whole process. So I've got my UV laid out. Now I'm going to piece of printer paper. I reuse, recycle, whatever you wanna call it. Um, and I'm going to simply lay down a row of glitter about the length of my pen. I take my cup, I use bare fingers. I prefer to be able to actually feel what I'm working with. Dip my finger in there, start in the middle, and just work my way out. Again, start in the middle, work my way out. Once I've gone all the way around the pen, I do longer strokes to get it clear to the end of the pen. It does not require a lot. The more you put on, the more it will run, the more bulk you'll have, the longer you will have to cure it. Tap the end, get that, that rounded bit good and covered. Once that's on, I set my little measuring cup to the side and I just roll my pen in in my glitter. It's that simple. Then I take my finger, pat it down a little bit, get out my light, and I just do a real quick sweep with my light. It's high powered, like I said, 405 NM. I'm not sure what the NM stands for, but it is one of the highest powered torches that you can get for UV. And I just do a quick go around, a full 360 degrees on the pen. That's all it takes. It's cured, it's hard. Now I go over, I let it run in between my hands. That takes any glitter that might be poking out, anything that's not laying real flat, and it simply knocks it off. So there's that. Remove my glitter, and I'm done with it. And I go back to my cup here that has my UV in it. I'm gonna add a little more. And same process, start in the middle and work my way out. Go clear around. As I'm applying the UV, I tr do my best to keep the pen as level as I can possibly get it. I don't put a whole lot of UV on, but I still don't want what I'm applying on here to run. I want to keep my sanding as just as minimal sanding as absolutely necessary. By doing so, by keeping it level, you get no clumps, you get no lumps, no ridges. So again, I just, I shake, I'm sorry. Again, I just go up and down the length of the pen while I am rotating my pen. And I'm curing that UV resin. Like I said, this decorum Minimal smell. I've used several different kinds. Some of them stink to the high heavens. This stuff, it doesn't smell. Um, not in, not anywhere near as bad in comparison to some of the others that I've tried. Um, so that's done. It's a little bit tacky. It's a little bit sticky. The UV resin will get that way. 
Um, and if it's tacky, which almost all of your pens will be after you, you coat it, your decal won't stick. So rubbing alcohol and just run up and down that pen real quick. I prefer nail files for my sanding. They're nice, they're rigid. You can use your sanding blocks. I'm sure most of you probably use sanding blocks, but no matter your poison, whether it be a nail file or a sanding block, I run over just real quick. Wipe it down. And those are the first steps of, of putting the UV on. So the next step would be to add your decal, your sticker. This one's going to be tie-dyed, so I'm going to either hand paint or water slide this white one into a tie-dye. I'm not going to finish off with that one. So I'm going to pick up with this yellow one that I started earlier. Um, I sanded it just in one spot, and I have put on my believe decal um the stickers there's nothing over it you can see i can peel it up right now so after you get your sticker applied press it on there make sure it's stuck go back to your little measuring cup reload start in the middle and work your way out Again, the more you get on there, you want to be extra cautious, extra careful that you're holding your pen nice and level. You don't want the UV to run, to seep, to, to dribble. And once you're confident, you've got a good coat on the whole pen. Wipe your fingers off, grab your light, and you cure. This being my last layer, I will go, typically go around the pen twice. The first time I keep at a distance to allow the UV to cure. Touch it, make sure it's good. The second one, I set my torch on the pen. And I do just a slow turn around, let it really penetrate, let it really cure all the goodies in there. Done. Slightly tacky, rubbing alcohol. Wipe it down. Now, if you can feel your decal under there, sometimes I can, sometimes I can't. Quick fix. Again, you can have your choice, nail file, sanding block. I just run over it one more time, all the way around, 360 degrees, good sanding. I'm not trying to remove any bulk on this. I just am trying to ensure that it's smooth. This pen does not have much extra bulk on it. Wipe down with your rubbing alcohol. Third and final step, last coat. There are no rotators you need. If you have a UV lamp and not a hand light, not a hand torch like this, same thought process. Light up your, turn on your lamp, simply hold the pen under your lamp and rotate. Just spin it. 
I can show you what I mean by that as I do somewhere have a UV lamp. Um, I do my UV lamps a little bit differently in the sense that I use, if I can find it, I go to my house and I got a giant mirror. It kicks up, it reflects. Now the downfall to this method is I got to be sure not to touch my pen to any part of the inside of the lamp but it does traditionally bounce on both ends. It'll cover the top and it covers the bottom because I'm using a mirror to bounce that light. So it's a good cure. These handheld lights do not cure as quickly as my Dulux flashlight does. So I'm gonna go ahead and just cure the outside of that here real quick. But if you're using a table lamp, this would be the method I would recommend, would be to get a mirror, set it on there. I'm all about efficiency and speed, so personally, I prefer my extra high power little flashlight here. Done. Remove the tack. More rubbing alcohol. A couple quick sweeps. Tackiness gone. Pen is smooth. And so now you are left putting your pen back together. My end is nice and open. There's no junk in there. I'm going to dig out my inner pieces that work on the inside of the pen and I'm going to put it back together. And there you have it. It is a nice, shiny pen that was start to finish. Our timer's at 17 minutes. Um, if I'm not doing all the talking and tutorial tutorialing, then I can get a pen done in about 10 minutes. Yesterday I got 10 done in approximately two hours, and that was including the spray time, the paint time, dry time. So if you have these done beforehand, then it's a heck of a lot quicker. So just now you know, and once they're done, you might excuse me, you might have to um, wipe it down with some rubbing alcohol a couple of times, but these are completely tack free. And by the time it's set up, it will be completely dry. And you can do it with any color. We've got a ton of them here. Any colors, any designs. Super quick, super efficient, super easy, and they look just as good as the UV method. So, if you're complaining that your the UV stinks and you don't like it, you're using the wrong UV. Try something that doesn't smell. They don't all smell. So, <clears throat> it's that that simple, guys. Um, for my stickers, my the te size of my text, I do. Um, depending on what all design I'm putting in there. I believe these are about 2.3 inches long and they are 0.48 inches tall. So that's that. I hope this helps everyone figure out how to do the UV pens so you guys can be more efficient with your time and, and um, have a lot more fun making these bad boys. Thanks for watching.